Russell here, AKA Bell and Circuit, with a beat breakdown of the beat we made this month. The samples I used came off of a jazz fusion, smooth, mainstream jazz funk record, a record of ostensibly Incan flutes, but had a lot of interesting percussion and guitar samples on it as well. And then a record of Italian torch songs from a very famous Italian singer, apparently. Uh, at least that's what uh, Google tells me. And I got a bunch of orchestral stuff off of that. Let me show you what I did. Not a lot of studio trickery in this one, just chopped up a bunch of samples and put them together. I played a bunch of bass. So let's get into it right now. So we started out with sort of this free time spaghetti western guitar and a vocal phrase from this Middle Eastern pop singer. <laughs> get into the next section when the guitar comes in again I've taken a smaller section stretched it so it's more rhythmically uh, sensical and looped it so it ends up being it's a little faster and then the same phrase just gets uh, looped it's played over the same vocal sample, but I also have some chops from flute samples that came from this Incan flute record. So. So it's pretty goofy, um, but it works pretty well when you throw everything else in. So the drum kit I'm using is one that I built using samples from the records that I got. So there's snare, um, another snare, I guess, a couple of tom hits, and then a weird kind of, I don't know, it came from that Incan record and it was a drum, but it has some flute overtones in it. I supplemented that stuff with an Ableton kick, the snare 70s funk MPC, I don't know, snappy, that's basically just layered underneath some of the other snare samples. That's processed with the drum bus and the hot driven tape plug-in. The patterns were played in and then tweaked. Um, and then other patterns like this one, chimingly named Disco. All of the bass lines in here were played by me. Clearly, I had been listening to a lot of Bill Laswell. 
I mean, I'm always listening to a lot of Bill Laswell. But uh, that's kind of where the inspiration for that stuff came from. In the next section, we have this... Uh, this waka waka funk guitar loop that came off that uh, jazz guitar record and then a swelling string sample that came from that Italian torch song record with the aforementioned disco beat. And then a different vocal sample uh, looped. I didn't do too much in the way of time stretching the vocal sample. I kind of just put the beginning and end where I wanted them and then let the chips fall where they may. And it turned out pretty good. The next section we have more waka waka guitar with some uh, piano in there. A snaky string sample that came from that Middle Eastern pop record. And then a electric piano which does have some obviously some percussion in the back of it there and the whole thing for that section came out obviously got a wee bit fancier on some of these drum fills And then the next section was built around this groove with a lot of drums. Again, this came from that jazz guitar record. Not super time corrected. So you can see I've left some stuff that's a little bit off. to give it, to maintain the feeling. We layered that with... I don't know why I called this clip groovy, because it's really not all that groovy. The vocals here are more chop, where they're not uh, just whole phrases playing through, they're looped and and chopped the whole thing reminds me quite a bit of the brian eno david byrne record my life in the bush of ghosts which i had been listening to quite a bit recently i tried to get into that mindset um, yeah, that's it. This was a pretty simple one uh, as far as putting it together. Um, I guess I'm gravitating more towards letting the samples dictate how things go together rather than uh, a lot of manipulation. We'll probably get back to more <laughs> manipulation soon. Hey, Russell here, beat, easy for you to say.